What's going on, all you serial killer enthusiasts? Ooh, that was dark. But this is the 31 Days of Horror, and what better time than now to talk about one of the most notorious serial killers of all time, a serial killer that me and Logan, we were, you know, young kids when we heard about this guy and what he was doing in Milwaukee. We're talking about the new Netflix show, Dahmer Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Eat it. So we have Evan Peters from, you know, American Horror Story coming over. He's a, a favorite of Ryan Murphy, and this is a Ryan Murphy produced show. And he's coming over to play Jeffrey Dahmer himself, the notorious serial killer who, you know, killed his victims, cooked them up, ate them, stored their heads in the refrigerator, you know, threw their bodies in a vat of acid. You know, this guy was one of the, the you know, it's the grossest, one of the most sadistic and horrifying serial killers of all time, his story. And here on Netflix, we're getting 10 episodes that tell the whole story, not only from the perspective of, you know, a younger, younger Jeffrey Dahmer growing up with his father, but also from the perspective of some of his victims, which is, you know, this show has had a lot of complaints lately from people saying that it's glorifying Jeffrey Dahmer, but having finished this, I wouldn't say that at all. I think it's given everybody an equal look. We're getting it from everybody's perspective here. And I thought that they did a, a good job overall of, you know, paying respect to, you know, the victims, at least some of them that they feature on the show here. And, you know, there's even a couple episodes where it's, you know, the whole episode is devoted to them. So, uh, with that being said, though, it's it's a rough watch. It's not one that, uh, you know, it's very enjoyable, you know, considering the subject matter, obviously. But it's a show that you, your eyes, you know, you're glued to it and you're going to want to finish it within a couple of weeks. And it's all because of Evan Peters back there and his, you know, performance, which really blew me away. He did, he did a terrific job playing Jeffrey Dahmer. Look at the devil's eyes, the darkest of eyes. And I guess I didn't know this much about Jeffrey Dahmer. I know, you know, serial killer, cannibal. Um, but there was one I never really looked into as much um, compared to other ones, you know, Gacy that's also from Illinois and other ones like that, you know, true crime podcasts dive into all this, but this is one I didn't know as much about. And they really dive into everything with going on with Jeffrey Dahmer, being a young kid, how we got, became this person, you know, that we find out later in the show, you know, serial killer, killing a bunch of innocent people along the way in Milwaukee. Uh, you know, live in this really shitty apartment, doesn't take care of it. You could tell going inside of his apartment that he's a serial killer. He's <laughs> right. thing. He has laying around a vial of yeah. acid in the corner in his bedroom. <laughs> it just blood stains all over the mattresses. <laughs> blood stains everywhere. Totally obvious, but he's like drugging people like he meets at, uh, you know, parties, clubs and stuff, bringing them back and wreaking havoc on them. Yeah, and right away from that first episode really sets the stage for the whole show. You know, it shows you just how crazy this guy was. You know, he meets this guy in a club. He's a, he's a homosexual himself, and he brings this guy back and drugs him, like he said, makes him sit down at the edge of his bed, and they're watching Exorcist 3, and he's sort of fast-forwarding to, like, the worst part of the movie, making this guy feel really uncomfortable. You know, he gives him a drink and, you know, puts puts some drugs in the drink, and next thing the guy's, you know, obviously feeling the effects. He's on the verge of passing out, and Jeffrey Dahmer's listening to his heartbeat through his chest. <laughs> uh, it's really unsettling. It, it shows you everything. It shows you kind of the mind frame of Jeffrey Dahmer. He, this guy just had this, you know, this uh, compulsion where he did this, and this series really shows you this compulsion, and it, it goes back from his childhood with his father, um, played by Richard Jenkins. I, I liked him as Lionel Dahmer, Jeffrey's father. He did a really great job in this. Just kind of shows you, it's not trying to say that, hey, the parents are to blame, but you know, all our environment, including our home life, it all contributes to who we end up with. And you know, it, it definitely contributed to who Jeffrey Dahmer ended up with. And Lionel liked to go around and uh, you know, pick up roadkill. And you know, he was in a taxidermy and then Jeffrey Dahmer going through school was interested in dissecting animals. So, you know, <laughs> liking this stuff early on, it just kept going into adulthood and where he turned it into this fascination with human beings and, you know, displaying his, you know, tendencies as they went on and he got more victims and he just kept doing 
worse and worse things to the bodies. And, uh, you know, it's just crazy all the, you know, destruction and, you know, how many lives Jeffrey Dahmer tore apart, how many victims he had. Um, another aspect of the show, he was in Milwaukee in this apartment, this, you know, obviously being Milwaukee, it's uh, predominantly black there. And he lived in a predominantly black uh, apartment and his neighbors would complain about the smell, you know, coming through the walls. You could hear it, you know, you could smell it. Uh, down the hallway and the cops would come and nobody would ever do anything, <laughs> which is, it just makes you shake your head. All the warning signs were here for years and it was ignored. And the whole time we had one of the most prolific serial killers, you know, in the state next to us in Wisconsin. Right in our backyard there. And uh, yeah, this is all going back to the 1980s cops going into the black areas and just didn't give a shit, you know, a lot of racism and just crazy stuff that they just, Never looked into it. They walked in the apartment, and just asked about the smell, and just kind of whatever, and just moved on. Didn't give a shit, and all, you know, came back to the police department because of all the shit that happened with Dahmer and killing so many people over the years. You know, going to the clubs, meeting up with gay guys, and bringing them back, and drugging them, and killing them, and just kept going on and on. It was feeding his addiction, and all had to go back to being abandoned and things he was exposed to as a young kid, and it really you know, set his future being a really psychopath. Yeah. Evan Peters did a great job. I liked his interactions with his father played by Richard Jenkins, the, the way that they kind of had an understanding of each other and Lionel, despite all the times that Jeffrey got in trouble and all the warning signs, uh, you know, he stole a mannequin from a store that he worked at and had it on his bed and was living with his grandma would bring home, you know, he would bring home all these guys and then you wouldn't hear from them. You know, there was stuff going on in the basement, but the grandma would never look and just so many things that went wrong here. And, uh, you know, so many victims, you know, this could have been stopped years before, uh, but it, it wasn't, unfortunately. But this show really dives deep into the mind of a serial killer, Evan Peters. You know, he stated himself, he said, you know, I'm not crazy. I just, you know, I, I can't help myself. I have this compulsion. You know, this, this isn't because something happened to me because somebody did something to me. This is just me. This is what I like. So it's, it's an interesting story. It's not just somebody doing something for fun. He didn't even necessarily have fun. He'd always kind of feel bad after he killed his victims too, which was interesting to me, but that's Evan Peters performance here really, uh, you know, solidified him as an, uh, you know, a really fine young actor. And this performance is probably his best so far that I've ever seen him in yes. um, just showing all the different, uh, you know, emotions that he goes through the, the, the darkness and everything. Uh, he really owns this role. I know there's been some movies before about Dahmer, but uh, this one, you know, Evan Peters really hit a home run in this performance here. Oh, definitely. Award-winning performance from Evan Peters. You know, he's known, Notorious for being a Ryan Murphy, American Horror Story, you know, always playing some sort of creepy, uh, you know, character. And this is basically it with another Ryan Murphy creation, playing the character of Dahmer, diving into the psyche of this person. Learned a lot about this character and, you know, his backstory, you know, where he grew up and how he became this character, how many people he killed and how in depth he went with cutting up and killing people and eating them. Very grotesque, very gross. So many warning signs throughout the series where the cops just didn't give a shit you know and it's just terrible to look back at this this is a show you can only watch about two episodes at a time because it's so gut-wrenching it's so depressing you can only handle a few but it's also an incredible show at the same time it's just hard to watch you know what people had to go through and you know police enforcement not really doing anything about it and just letting this guy keep doing and going and going until he finally got caught uh yeah really great performances here all across the board supporting cast is really fantastic definitely want to Murphy's better shows out there and uh, one that I really enjoyed, especially during the Halloween season. Everybody's talking about this. It's like number one on Netflix. So I'm going to give Dahmer Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Evan Peters hair pieces. This is a show that you want to watch during the Halloween season this month, you know, for how dark it is, how scary, you know, somebody could be living, you know, next door to you that could be like this, but don't, you know, don't ignore those warning signs. That's the message here. You know, there are so many warning signs. Parents too, you know, if something's going wrong, you know, let somebody know, you know, mental health, it's, it's big out there. We got to start doing more about it and picking up on the warning signs. That's what I take from this. Um, Evan Peters performance, 
really phenomenal here. I look for him uh, in award season next year for this role. Uh, he definitely deserves to be nominated for this. Uh, all the other actors were great. Nisi Nash as uh, his neighbor that, you know, lived next door to him would smell it through the walls who eventually would help, you know, get him uh, caught and uh, put in prison. Um, his dad, Richard Jenkins, loved his performance as Lionel. Uh, Molly Ringwald played a stepmom. It was nice seeing her, her in a role, you know, seeing more of her lately. Uh, I had a great time at the story. Yeah, like you mentioned, one of Ryan Murphy's um, better produced shows as of late. It's taken uh, the world by storm. This has been a huge show, number one, like you mentioned, and deservedly so. It's a hard watch, but it's a good watch, and you'll uh, you'll learn you'll learn a story of uh, one of the most prolific serial killers of all time. So, with that being said, I am going to give Dahmer Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story a four out of five. Fine young cannibal hair pieces. <sighs> so we want to hear from you wild ghouls out there. What did you like about the new Dahmer monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite true crime podcast? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click subscribe. Also check out these wild boys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and our website, cinefellas.com for the latest, greatest TV movie news and reviews. This has been our review of Dahmer monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. It's number one on Netflix. Make sure you guys check it out. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's very dark, depressing, but a hell of a performance from Evan Peters. And, uh, you know, watch it during the Halloween season. It's a perfect time. So thank you guys for following along with us all month long for the 31 Days of Horror. Me and this guy, Logan, we love horror movies. What a great month it's been already. I've watched so many horror films, so many TV shows. It's great. Uh, you know, it's a great to get it out of your system. We watch so many horror movies the rest of the year, you know, it feels like, you know, this is special, special time of year for us. We love reviewing these. We do so many back to back to back, and we're going to be back all October long. So stay tuned to this here channel. So until the next 31 Days of Horror TV show review, I'm Uncle Henry. And I'm Uncle Logan, signing out until next time. Cheers. Cheers. She drives me crazy. Woo. Please.